Why is our sexual health so dependent on the man and we just can't immerse ourselves in it? Well, it's because as women we get policed. Everything that we do, how our bodies are, who we engage with, is policed by the man. Who? Ha! Huh? Here we go again. Before we deal with all that, let us hear this lady out first. You know, hear how we got to this point. No. Oof. I think it is. I think maybe I'm the wild card. <laughs> so, um, I really want to fully and comfortably be fisted. Damn! Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. And... Whoa. I want to understand. So yeah. <laughs> hey, it's been there before, Samizi, and we'll be there even after Samizi. <laughs> what? Well, now, she wasn't kidding when she said she's the wild card. This thing. Hey, man, that is for the brave. Also, I have a question. How can someone be comfortably fisted? I've done it to a few girls. And believe me when I say, I do not know how that could be comfortable. Or I'll find a way to make that comfortable. Talk about being stretched out. I want to really? understand how the, like obviously it can expand for when you're having a child. But for as far as it's gone for me, and I've attempted it many a time, my, it feels like my bones are shifting. So I want to know what the actual physiological pleasure not the but pleasure i mean i understand it. the pleasure um you and do? i guess that's yeah, yeah. yeah there is oh. there is i think it's also the audacity it's a very psychological thing like you're putting a whole male fist inside my vagina Bruh. um i also like being fingered so for me it's oh. like the more the better um, um so and it's literally gotten to like halfway through the palm um but never the whole hand. Yeah. God damn. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. She wants a hands-on kind of guy. A guy that can handle her. A guy who's a handful. Talk about giving her a hand just so she can get some. Well, now, that's one way to be handsome. Yo, 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 yo. So I just want to know physiologically how the body works to accommodate that in that moment. Obviously, when you're pregnant, your hips shift to... Give birth, baby. Yeah. but in a sexual like scenario, why is it that my body can allow a male fist inside me? I don't know. Uh -huh. I am biologically programmed to insert myself every time I see cooch. Well, not all the time. And lately, it's starting to seem people don't care what you use in order to insert yourself into some cooch. Pick so big, it's like a foot is in your mouth. What? Don't you think then your muscles are relaxed in that sense that literally? Yeah, but like. To be relaxed to the point where it completely changes form to accommodate a the fist. fist. Like, I, that, it's not a muscle anymore. You know, there's the vaginal canal. That shifts. That changes. So, for me, I'm just trying to understand how that works. Well, look, if it's a South African men's fist, it can go. <gasps> Excuse me? You said it's all bullshit. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Small fingers. Shut up, bitch. I'm a short dude, and I can assure you, nothing is small about it. Yes, I'm still talking about my fist. My fingers, on the other hand, hey, they are very short. Hence, they serve as finger foods for the fanny. Thank you so much, Sibia. <laughs> you really hate me, Spice. He's joined the wagon. Shut the fuck up. No one cares. So let's talk about sexual pleasure, ladies. Um, we all want to experience it mm -hmm. and we all want to give it. Mm. Right? Mm. Because what's the point of having sex if the next person's not enjoying it, vice versa? But the sad thing about sex and how we had been conditioned where sex is concerned, is that the sex and the pleasure is only for the man. Okay. Excuse me? That is bullshit. Who is conditioning women to believe pleasure from a slippery time is only for men? Who? When it don't take that much effort to pleasure a man. Unlike women, y'all require a whole lot more. Y'all need constant stimulation, some form of connection, just so your vag can participate. Bruh. Quite as for men and women, it's very different. I can bang someone that I have no interest in. I'm not even attracted to her. Just for the sake of my own pleasure. Trash. For women, it's more connection based. Thanks to that chemical that you'll release. Uh, what is it? Oxytocin, oxy whatever. Oxy whatever. However, it's 2022 and women think that they men. So it's harder for y'all to pair bond 
Because now you'll take with your vaginas. Because you'll have way too many options. And too many options tends to leave you with no options. The only conditioning enforced on women when it comes to the pleasure of a man to bust it open on a frequent basis. Give him a whole lot of bombs. Give him so much coochie by the time he walks out the house he is overfed and not thinking about it at all. In that regard, I agree, women have been conditioned. Because if you don't overfeed that guy some cooch, the male gaze will have him sabotage your relationship with him. That's if he's being deprived. You should never leave your man without busting a nut. Let me turn your mic up a little bit. Before he walks yeah. out that fucking door, okay? <laughs> like, whether it's head, whether it's sex, when he walks out that door in the morning, he needs to have, he needs to be empty. He ain't thinking about nobody else, nothing else. Rick come fucking bitching at him at work. Nigga, please, my dick got sucked this morning. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Yes! 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 Think about it this way. It's like leaving your house hungry. That time the house is full of food. But you couldn't make anything because you're currently experiencing load shedding. And there's no electricity. Goddamn ass comp. So obviously, you're going to grab something outside the house. Even if you have so much food in the house that you cannot cook. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. And I will not lie, there are days where I do that as well. Where I take away my sexual pleasure and I give it to the next person. How is that even possible? How? Look, it varies, right? Because on some days, it's because I enjoy watching him have fun that mm -hmm. I will have fun. And that's pleasure in itself. And that's pleasure in yeah. itself. But also on other days, I just feel like I'm just trying to get it over and done with. That happens quite often. And that's upsetting. Oh, uh, now I see what's happening here. She has conditioned herself to believe coitus and pleasure is just for men. All because she views SEX as a chore and not an act to gain pleasure from. I just feel like I'm just trying to get it over and done with. So in actual fact, this conditioning that she's speaking of sounds more like a her problem. To get it over and done with. Also, how do you give someone your pleasure? How? Where I take away my sexual pleasure and I give it to the next person. How is that even possible? Make that make sense! What the fuck? I don't understand. You cannot transfer pleasure to anyone. Pleasure is not energy, and only energy can be transferred. Pleasure is just a feeling of satisfaction or enjoyment. And by that logic, it makes sense how she's conditioned herself to believe that SEX and pleasure is only for men. Let's be honest, the first round is usually for the man. Obvious to get rid of the fast swimmers and reduce the anxiety of busting too quickly. Anything after that is purely for the woman. In actual fact, now that I think about it, men are the ones that have been conditioned to make SEX a pleasure-filled experience for the woman. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where's the clitoris? I don't know. Where's the clitoris? Oh my God! Bruh. You get shamed for having weak strokes and cannot hit it right. We get replaced with a dude that can get you there if we don't get you there. Y'all are good as gone if we bring a small wiener to the table. And men are conditioned to know if you don't sexually satisfy a woman, you are practically screwing yourself over. Because she'll probably leave you or cheat on you or replace you. Depending what provisions you provide into her life. If it's monetary value, then she might stick around, but she'll probably cheat on you. It's like when the D is good, chances are she's going to stick by you, but she's going to be busy with a dude that can give her monetary value. So in that regard, how are women conditioned when it comes to SEX and pleasure? How? From my standard point, it seems like we men are conditioned to pleasure y'all, which makes sense. It takes more work to get y'all there. Can you make me feel good? Can you make me feel Oh it's why is our sexual health so dependent on the man and we just can't immerse ourselves in it? I miss the part where that's my problem. Well, it's because as women we get policed. Everything that we do, how our bodies are, who we engage with, is policed by the man. Huh? What? Let me get the fuck out of here. Hey, yo, stop this nonsense. Stop this narrative. Women police their own bodies. You'll wear whatever the fuck you want. You'll sleep with whoever you want. You'll decide who gets born. You'll decide who gets to smash. So meaning you'll police your, yourselves to us. So stop it. Also, now that we're on this topic, why is it when a man tells a woman that, yo, please dress more modestly and have a low body count, all of a sudden it's called policing women's bodies. I'm just telling you the kind of person that I want to see myself with. And you say that I'm policing you all because I'm judging you on that matrix? But get the fuck out of here. Actually, for argument's sake, men do police women's bodies. Hold up. Wait a minute. The dating market polices both men and women's bodies. It don't matter. And let's be honest, women do it way more than men and are even harsher about it 
compared to men. Men require you just to be fit. Look, ladies, I get the whole body positivity thing, but keep that same energy. Some of y'all be acting like nobody's ever said nothing nice to you ever. Women have never been unfuckable. There are websites dedicated to every variation of y'all. Bigbitches.com. Uglyheffersbackslashstankmouth.com. Raggedy hoes ain't got no feet. Dot org. Double amputee ball headed midgets. Dot gov. All I'm saying is, is there's nothing that excludes you from the pipe show. You feel me? There are websites that are dedicated to women who are terminally ill and just want to bang in before they go. And there's always a dude on the website willing to put in that work, though. I'm just saying, while we might rank women, we don't exclude them. Just because I said that she a 10 and she a 2, don't mean I won't bang the hell out that too. Matter of fact, I might do the two first because ugly bitches fuck you back. Them dime pieces of starfish because it's exhausting being attractive. But you get you a clean four, put you to sleep like NyQuil. Damn. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Women police men's bodies to a point where they police things that men cannot change about themselves. Uh -huh. He must be tall. Oh gosh. He must have a six inch wiener. Bruh. The same way when it comes to fat women, it's called plus size. However, when it comes to fat men, it's called overweight. Who's policing who here? Who? Which is okay when women police men's bodies, but a problem when men start policing women's bodies. And that's where the problem is here. That's what we need to stop. Stop blaming men and take accountability for your own actions. Hence I said stop pushing that narrative because we all know women do whatever they want to do. We never listen to what men want. They want what they want and then think men want the same thing. Um, and more so when you express yourself sexually, the perception is that you're loose or easy. So we have been conditioned to think that if we are that way, even in a space where it's intimate and should be comfortable or a safe space, it's hard to recondition that where you are now thinking, Effort. It doesn't matter. Bullshit. Like, my pleasure should come first. Bro, what are you talking about, man? By sexually expressing herself, does she mean banging a bunch of dudes? Or does she mean she has one man that she has regular relations with? Who could possibly be interested in, like, trying out new stuff with her? Or she is interested in trying with him? Those are two different things. If you're banging every Tom, Dick, and Harry, of course the perception of you will be that you're loose or easy. However, if you're trying to kick it up a notch with the person that you're with on a regular basis, the same person having regular relations with then i thought you would be called is that you're loose or easy maybe freaky and kinky might be the words that you are being labeled nasty bitch. yeah baby <laughs> because chances are you more vocal about what you like and what you would want to try out can you make me feel good can you make me feel good after all sex is something that can be improved on then in that case your pleasure will come first trust me Men that love their women will do anything to sexually please her in the bedroom. Especially if you're open about bedroom shenanigans. Because <clears throat> even also growing up, women are there for procreation. Men are there for pleasure. Bullshit. You know, so it's very hard to kind of adjust your mind to feel like, you know what, it's okay for me to experience pleasure and for the focus to be on me. It requires two people in order for procreation to occur. A man and a woman. Women are there for procreation. Men are there for pleasure. And thanks to contraceptives, that idea has been rendered obsolete. Because women smash for pleasure now. Thanks to the endorsement of hookup culture. So what the fuck is she talking about? Sure, women are valued for caring and giving birth. But men are not just sleeping with women for the pleasure of it. Because they really want to take care of their children. Well, those that want to participate in that process. Those usually do it for duty and responsibility for what they started. Unless he's not doing what he needs to do as a man, then he's proper scum. And if you're a woman that deprives a man from having a relationship with their kids, then you are scum. They'll be using the child to leverage over a man. It's childish. Like me, I've learned to sort of apply myself to understand that sometimes it's not about him, it's about me. And if he doesn't want to participate or for whatever reason, he's not available. Get a lip in the What the fuck, lady? What the fuck? Who brings a pocket rocket? To a public setting. Someone has to touch that mic that she touched a toy with. I wouldn't. Are you. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. If you start to feel sick, then I'll stop it.